fantastico fenomenale Queens of the Stone Ece Yes, I am not kidding, we will do this Sturdy. This this is not uh, this is good quality stuff. They printed a solid. It almost smells like a book. No, it smells like a book, <laughs> like paper. You know, card cardboard. Yeah. It got some. It's even got some. You know, artwork on the inner sleeve. You know, it's very beautiful. Oh yes, you can put it together. You can put it together with the other inner sleeve, and you will get. Thank you. Oh, oh. They have, they had, they had to use, you know, this much, much space to make it here. Yeah, man, brilliant, mate. It's brilliant day. I'm, I'm just gonna check one thing. Yes, I thought so. I remembered right. It, it, it has music on three sides. This one, and uh, it is edged. It has an edging. On the on the on side four, it's probably very hard to see this because you know it, it, it's in the sunlight. Anywho, you get the picture. There's there's some edging on this. You got some pictures. Yes, you got something with the bike and stuff. Let me let me translate. Yeah, we got Dracula on a chopper. Yeah, it's just a big V. Yeah, with characters around it, baseball bats and, you know, rough stuff. They're rough stuffing it, I think so. Uh, is that even a word? I don't know. Let's, let's just listen to the opening track. Uh, that would be cool. I was just fixing this. We won't have any. These babies, you, you don't throw around. I don't care if I'm making a video. I'm gonna take the time putting stuff back together. I do have a life, so I hope you will bear with me. Uh, that being said, I'm gonna need the LP. I'm gonna need this vinyl after the video also. I'm gonna need the cover. It has to be in great condition. You know what I mean? Are you ready for this? Have you heard this before? I, I have. But it's been, it's been a short while. Because, yeah, it's been a, it's been a little while, but it's almost it's not a real reaction. What is a reaction video? Can you react more than once to a song? What would you say behind the wheels of a car if you reacted more than once? No, I've done it before. Sorry, we got a crash. Tell me. Yeah, they're warming up. Yeah, is it high enough? It's Queen's of the Stone Age, baby. Yeah, we got the. I even got the Eagles of Death Missile, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I also got the Man's Ruin Cat. I guess I'm a, I'm a bit of a fan. I guess I'm a bit of a fan. <laughs> why I did that was goofing around man typical Queens of the Stone Age you know some kind of you know build up crash glass crashing or something just like you know at the start at the beginning of a live show you know night you can imagine the you know the spotlights go and and then it's gone yeah you've been there before <laughs>
Sorry. I talked over it. It's not cute, not cute. But I couldn't I couldn't resist because that that was just like, you know, thunder. It was cold in the middle of the railroad track. You know? <laughs>
to do. of the Stone Age. This could be banned also, so you never know. Or, I don't know if you call it banned, just blocked. The banning, that sounds such, it sounds like you've done something wrong. You know what I mean? Um, there can be nothing wrong in this world with, with, the, with the act of playing Queens of the Stone Age for anybody. I would play this for my mother and my daddy and my grandmother if she was still alive. If, she, if my grandmother duck motorhead, motorhead, she would love this one. And she did. She was a motorhead, not fan, but she said, oh, he's good. You can dance to it. <laughs> you know? And she did. <laughs> motorhead, for God's sake, it's motorhead. All right. True story. I even got the album from my grandmother, but that's another story. That's a longer one. So, yes, I really hope it's all right for us to have a small party with the Queens of the Stone Age, because I love them to bits. Uh, if, if this is okay with the, you know, platform, we will do more Queens of the Stone Age. Yes, it's not first reaction. It is kind of... I'm gonna call it, you know, don't mind what the title is because if you don't call it uh, nothing, people can't find your videos. You have to, to choose some words, so it's not important. What is important is we are sharing cool fucking music. In the long run, uh, let me just say, I have a very hard time believing somebody uh, hasn't heard anything at all it doesn't doesn't make any sense to me uh, you know you're a black person you never heard Marvin Gaye or Prince or Michael Jackson come on come on not to stereotype but oh you're into hip-hop you never heard about the Beastie Boys come on come on I wish some more uh, uh, reacts and reactors, or I don't know what you call it, reaction channels would be uh, honest about it. Just say it like it is. Of course you heard Simon and Garfunkel before. Of course you... They, I've seen people trying to, to, to tell us that they not even heard about the Live Aid, you know, We Are The World. We, we, I never heard that song. No, I never been to a family party. No, I never, you know what I mean? I never heard any popular tune ever. I don't buy it. I really don't buy it. Am I against it? I don't I, I, I was just fantastic. That was just what I needed on a Saturday. Some Queens of the Stone Age. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. If you're waiting for the, for the, uh, D, what, what, what's the name? D lost in the Comatorium uh, album. It's not gonna happen. I tried two times now and uh, YouTube says no, no, block, block. So we're gonna skip that album and we're gonna, yeah, continue, continue that journey, but without the D lost album. Too bad. But yes, 
now it's all good again because Queens of the Stone Age just played up a party. I, I would say you, you can put this in in the, in the dance music uh, genre. It is it is dance dan very danceable. It has crooning in it. It has doo wopping in it. it. This this album is actually pretty fucking cool uh, as the rest of the uh, the Queens of Stone Age albums. Uh, but uh, it's it, it it's maybe more danceable than ever, more in the category of uh, it could be an Eagles of Death Metal album. This, but with the lead singer, you know, being Josh Hum and not Boots Electric. Actually, I think of this too uh, as a as a sister piece, companion piece. What do you want to call it? To uh, to a typical Eagles of Death Metal album. It has the very uh, same danceable, you know, uh, melody types, and uh, it's just it's just a ball, you know. It's it's much more light lighter than, uh, you know, lullabies to paralyze or uh, what do you want to uh, even yeah all, almost every other album they made before this. So so this is the this is Queens of the Stone Age light. I would call it. But if you're a fan of Josh Hum and his project, you will get a lot of different. You you would not be stuck with a just a dance album. You 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 will have you know uh, uh, desert sessions. So you will have your big time stoner rock. Let me tell you what. If you're into stoner music, you should buy the desert sessions, especially volume one. That's the most stone, stonish, uh, in my opinion. Uh, volume one and two, that's one album. Uh, so yes, but we will we will do more. We will do more Josh Hum, that's for sure. Yes, I'm gonna leave you with this video and say uh, thank you very much. I hope you have a great day. Domargato, arrivederci. Yes, yes. Merci. Roll the credits.